Yo, what's up, people? It's your boy Stitch back again with another reaction video. And today we have another Hot 10 Beatbox World Championship Solar Limb. We have Decoy from the US. As you guys know, I'm giving my own personal rankings as we go through each video. For now, this is my ranking for the Hot 10 Solar Limbs. And I'm gonna be real, when I was there live, I only ranked two people. And these two people were the only two beatboxers who I knew were guaranteed going to pass the eliminations because they were so good. It was Wing, I put him in second place. And guess what? Today we got Decoy. When I was there live, I was like, definitely Decoy is getting first place. Ain't nobody else getting first place. Nobody else is getting first place. That's how good this Elim was. And guess what? Decoy being Decoy, this shit was freestyle. He freestyled and he got first place in the most stacked lineup in beatboxing history. He got first place Elim with a freestyle. I'm not even going to give critiques later. I'm not going to criticize or give my feedback later. I'm literally just going to enjoy this because this is so good. So freaking good. Let's get into it. Joy! Solo category showcase elimination. 24目はこいつだ. Coming all the way from Boston, America. The founder of the beatbox community, D. Coy. Make some noise for the founder, y'all. Come on now. Arigato. Hi, Japan. Okay, I'm very excited. <laughs> what, was that your mic check, or you wanna? Okay, okay. <laughs> Good. Ah, clean. Right. Clean. So it's good. When I say the three, y'all say the two and the one. In three, two, one, It's a pleasure to be here. The Birdman's here. Are <laughs> <laughs> so badass? Oh, but. Same time. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah. Oh, 
what was <laughs> Oh my god, I still have the goosebumps. I still got the goosebumps. Wow. One thing I have to say before I, for I forget it like this over here. At the same time. This, okay, this sound. He's basically combining his decoy whistle with fart bass and it sounded so crazy. It like it was the craziest thing ever. Like this this thing, I, I I still got goosebumps just thinking about it. Like it was the craziest sound in the whole competition. Like no joke. This sound was so good. <laughs> And his fart bass is really good. Like, it's insanely good. Like, this part hits so hard. Like, just him doing fart bass is so good. Wow. And those those drum patterns are, like, so decoy. Like, I, I think finding a style in beatboxing, it's difficult. Like, it's really difficult. But... It's not as difficult as finding a style on your drums. Like finding a beatbox style in general is difficult, but it's nowhere near as difficult as having a style with just drums. And nobody does drums like decoy. Ah. <laughs> you, you know, as excited as I am right now, and I'm really excited, this is killing me. Um, whenever I look at beatbox videos like this, um, a part of me just goes like, hey Stitch, I think you should quit. <laughs> Every time I see beatbox videos of this quality, this level, I just think to myself, yep, yep, why am I even trying? Like, <laughs> why am I even trying? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> How? <laughs> like, you have to understand, this is a freestyle, okay? And the fact that he has a set, like the whole structure of it does not sound like it's a freestyle. It sounds like it was planned. Like every single thing had an immense amount of thought put into it. It's insane. It's insane. And I know there's a lot of like professional world-class beatboxers in our scene who can freestyle. And it's still, is great, right? Like there's a lot of beatboxers in our scene who can freestyle in a limb and still pass the limb. But to freestyle in a limb like that, and have that level of structure, sound design variety in it is absolutely insane. He just brought back the melody and then he was like, yeah, let me just slap an arpeggio on it. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to freestyle it. But yeah, let's do it. And he did it. It's so, it's so crazy. Like, how can you be this good at beatboxing? I, I'm gen, I like, it boggles my mind. Like if, if this was like a prepared set, I don't think I would be as impressed as I am now. But the fact that this is a freestyle, that's what is, that's, that's the thing that's killing me right now. Is that this guy didn't plan anything. I remember like I was going out for dinner with a Hippie, Vokoda and Decoy. And we, were, and we were all talking about our elimination and Vokoda was like, you know what? I planned the first one minute 30. I was like, oh, I planned the first two minutes. Hippie was like, oh, I planned the first one minute 30. And Decoy was like, I'm gonna be real guys. I didn't plan anything. <laughs> he was like, I didn't plan anything. And then he does that. It's not fair. It's, it's genuinely not fair.
Like, you can't beat this. You can't beat this good. Ah, what do you guys think about this Alim? I ranked him in first place. Where would you put him? <laughs> Comment it below. Tell me what you think about this Alim in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>